Welcome to the Phonics Station. Learning to break words into syllables is crucial for young learners. It enhances their reading and spelling abilities by providing a foundation for decoding unfamiliar words. For this activity, you will need to download and print the worksheet for your students. I have posted a link in the description box below. You will also need pencils, crayons, scissors, and glue sticks. If you and your students enjoy this lesson, please like, subscribe, and share the video with all your colleagues so that we can get the recognition that we deserve for our hard work. Thank you. Okay, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad and excited that you're here. We are counting syllables and we're using our hands to clap them out. We're going to clap once for each syllable. Then we're going to cut and paste the number of syllables next to the picture. This time, boys and girls, have you noticed? Look at the numbers. One is gone. Two is gone. And our syllables, this is our syllable challenge. Three and four syllables is what we have. So you're going to have to clap and listen carefully. Okay. First thing we're going to do is we're going to need our scissors. We're going to cut out our numbers at the bottom. We're going to just cut along the dashed line. There are eight pictures and eight numbers that represent the number of syllables, three or four. Parents and teachers, if you have not discovered our channel yet, we have also have a writing channel and we have our phonics channel. The writing channel is so much fun. We write. We talk about how to think when you're writing, what to think about simple sentences for your for your paragraphs or whatever you're writing about your story <coughs> excuse me okay we're ready now take a look at our first picture the first picture is of a ballerina say it boys and girls ballerina get your hands ready ballerina how many claps did you hear? Let's do it again. Ballerina. How many claps? Four. You're right. I heard someone in the back say four. You're right. Four claps and how many syllables? Four syllables. So you're going to get your glue stick. I hope you have it ready. We need number four. And we're going to... Do our glue swirl, and we're going to paste the number four next to the ballerina. That means that the word ballerina has four syllables. Okay. Ambulance. Ambulance. Say it. Ambulance. Get your hands ready. Ambulance. How many claps? Three. How many syllables in the word ambulance? Three. Very good. Three claps, three syllables. Four claps equals four syllables. Okay. You're doing just fine so far. Okay, this is a tomato. Tomato. Ready? Get your hands ready. Tomato. How many claps? Three. How many syllables are in the word tomato? Three. Okay. 
boys and girls, you see the picture with all those little numbers on it? This is a calculator. Did you know that? Could you tell? Yes. I know you could because you're a smart bunch. Okay, calculator. Get your hands ready. Cal-cu-la-tor. How many claps? Four. How many syllables are in calculator? Four. Very good. Four. Okay, we are on a roll, boys and girls. We are on the ball. Okay, take a look at this picture. Watermelon, watermelon. Let's clap, let's clap that one out. Watermelon. How many claps? Let's do it again. Watermelon. How many claps? Four. How many syllables are in watermelon? Four. Okay. Four claps, four syllables. Three claps, three syllables. Two claps, two syllables. One clap, one syllable. Let's move on. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. How many of you like spaghetti? Okay, get your hands ready. Spaghetti. How many claps? Three. How many syllables? Three. Okay, take a look at our little friend here. We know what kind of animal this is. What kind of animal is it? It's a rhinoceros. Not just a rhino, a rhinoceros. Okay, get your hands ready. Rhinoceros. Again, rhinoceros. How many claps? Four, you're right. I hear you yelling, four, four, four. Rhinoceros has four syllables, four syllables, four claps, four syllables. Okay, take our number four, paste it next to the rhinoceros. Okay. Can tell me what this is we all know we love well, this fish is one of our favorites i think jellyfish get your little fingers ready jelly fish three do it again jelly fish three claps Three syllables. Three claps, three syllables. Okay, boys and girls, you can take your glue stick, put the cap back on so your glue will not get hard. We're done. How about that? We did a great job, boys and girls. They thought they... They were going to fool us, but we didn't get fooled by the three and the four, did we, boys and girls? No, we didn't. Just to review what we've done so far and what we've learned, we've learned that if you clap your hands as you say a word, you can clap the syllables. You can find out how many syllables are in that word. We clap once for each syllable. Then we cut and pasted the number next to the picture. Ballerina has four syllables. Spaghetti has three syllables. 
Calculator has four syllables. Tomato, ambulance, and jellyfish have three syllables. Rhinoceros has four syllables. And so does watermelon. Okay, boys and girls, it's time for my favorite thing to do. It's time for us to color our pictures. Okay, I'm going to fast forward the video and I'll be right back. Okay, boys and girls, we're done. How about that, boys and girls? I know you did an excellent job, I can tell. Before we leave, boys and girls, I just wanted to remind my parents and teachers, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please share our videos with all your friends so that we can get the credit for bringing these nice videos to you and very informative and the students love them so we can get credit for all the hard work that we do thank you and see you next time